Hello, and welcome to the first episode of Redstone Tutorials. This is how to make an automatic daytime setter for whenever it becomes night. What you need is a command block, redstone dust, redstone torch, any block, and a daylight sensor. First, you want to put down a command block and enter the following. Next, what you want to do is you want to put a, a blo any block you put, then a torch, following redstone trail, and a daylight sensor. Now, what this will cause is it'll send a redstone current into this block, reversing the outcome of the torch. Therefore, whenever it's daytime, it'll have no effect. But whenever it gets dark into the night, it'll automatically turn to daytime. That was a bit of a mistake. So let's set, try this. Time set 18,000. And it'll automatically turn back to day. Here's one more time. Simple as that. Another example of using command blocks is messaging. Say you have a bit uh, your house. You walk in, you could personalize your messages. Hello, Mr. Tugger2, how was your day? By using command blocks, you can leave personal messages to anyone who were to enter your house or even yourself. By putting one command block as slash say any message, and you can make use of whatever the nearest player is by using at p. Therefore, any player that steps on this, it would be their name. Or their IGN, to be exact. And for fun, I just added one for as just the same message, no matter who it was. You could also make an intricate messaging system by using repeaters. Therefore, there's a delayed response between each one. You can, each one will take longer due to the amount of ticks. These will only take one tick per, one tick more than its prior because it's set to. Watch. Therefore, it cr creates a delay. Whereas here, they're all set to the same tick, so that once one turns on, they all turn on at the same moment. Another way to use redstone in this sort of way is using an automatic cactus farm. This is a simple farm. All you have to do is once the cactus grows up, you just step on the plate, it falls down, and all of it goes into this chest. You need the following here to build this contraption. First, what you're going to need is you'll need a place for where the pistons go. And you'll put the pistons here. Next, what you'll need to do is you'll need to put two repeaters behind each one. And redstone behind it, all leading into the middle. Next, you'll want to dig out a small area for you to put each piece of this redstone puzzle. Once you've carved out this 5x3 area, you'll want to put sand here and here so you can build up your cacti. Next, you'll want to tra trail the redstone down, un down under it about where you want to put your pressure plate. After that, here comes a bit more complicated bit. You want to put down wherever you want your chest to be to collect it, and then you'll want to build off of from each bit. Make sure you hold shift and click on the side you want it to go into, like so, and just wrap around. Now you have completed your automatic cactus farm. Once it grows up, you just press the button 
and it pushes it off and will collect into here. It's been a little while and my cacti have grew quite well. Let's give it a whirl. And the cacti is being collected and pushed throughout the hoppers into the chest. And of course, you might want to build the hoppers out more because they might end up outside the hopper range, but not all the time will they do that.